We asked high school teachers, Mrs. Gonzalez and Mr. Wagner, how their high school experience was as a student compared to as a teacher. My all-time favorite part of high school. I just the friends, you know, like and I'm a I'm a morning person, so it was never hard for me to get to bed early and get up early and then be like really spry and energetic in the morning. So like school really worked with me and I had a lot of fun going there. Besides the academics, just being able to hang out with my friends. Yeah. Um, I think my favorite part of high school was probably like hanging out with my friends and the activities that I was in, that I was in. Uh, so I went to Carmel. Um, there's a discrepancy in finances, right? There's a little bit money, more money being pulled into that district than what we have here. But we've got everything we need at Whiteland. Plus, we wouldn't be warriors if we didn't have to brave some difficulties. My school was up in Northwest Indiana, um, so I would say the biggest thing was probably we, it's been a long time since I've been in high school, you guys, <laughs> but the biggest thing is probably being in two different buildings, that's a huge difference. And all the technology, we didn't have computers when I was in high school. <laughs> I think that I just really want everybody to feel welcome in my classroom, and I know sometimes you don't always feel that way. I don't know if that was necessarily me, but I was kind of a really quiet student in high school, which is the opposite of what I am as a teacher. Um, but anyway, I just want to make sure everybody feels, you know, comfortable in here, I guess. Well, probably just the social element. I want to say it's really helpful for kids. I mean, this starts obviously much younger, right? When you're in elementary and middle school, you're already being socialized, even, even in before that. But in high school, you really find out more of who you are. You're starting to like develop into an adult, getting much closer to that. And you, and you notice a big change between freshman year and senior year. So this is something that you guys have to look forward to. We asked Mrs. Gonzalez and Mr. Wagner what kind of clubs and sports they were in as a high school student. And we had like strength clubs and we had competitions that were organized uh, primarily for the football team, but other competitors that played for other sports in APC were allowed to attend. And in a way, that's kind of like a club. Um, what else? I was in the Spanish club and the Guitar Hero Club. I partially founded that one. I was in tennis and I was in band and jazz band. And we had a group called Students Against Drunk Driving. And I, was, I did a lot. World Language Club, Student Council. What made you want to become a teacher? I still don't want to be a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> it's a combination of things. So it started with me going out to Spain and having a really good connection to a school where I got to teach. And it, it, at that point, it was really just an opportunity to live abroad, get paid abroad, and oh, okay, I'll be a teacher. And then every passing year, I liked that job more. I liked the way that I was interacting with the kids and how they would take well to me. And I started asking myself bigger questions like, do I really want to work in the summer when I get a little bit older? Because I was like 24 at that point. I was like, no, I don't want to work in the summer. I loved school when I was in high school and before that. So you take all of this stuff, mix it together, plus give me five years of experience teaching English in Spain. And I love my subject. Everything kind of just like coerced me to be a teacher. And here we are. I actually wasn't a teacher at first. I was in HR and was a director of a department. Um, but I had a degree in French and Spanish, which has nothing to do with HR. Um, and I had always thought, someday I want to be a teacher. And someday I might get my master's and my PhD and go be a teacher. And so later on, after doing HR for a while, I thought, you know, this isn't what I really want to do. My heart job is to be with the students. And so that's why I'm here.